In this video, I'm gonna show you how we take a beer from conception to the actual release day and show you all the things in between. Over here, we've got pale malt in here as a base malt. This is actually Pilsner malt, but I use that as a uh, kind of a placeholder at 75% of the grain bill. We've got Caram uh, Munich Type 2 as 10% of the grain bill and Carafa Special 2 as 10% of the grain bill as well. That's like a dehusk roasted malt. Super tasty stuff. And then we've got about 5%, 5.5% of flaked oats in there for some mouthfeel and smoothness on the palate. And of course, we've got some bittering hops in there for a cool uh, 41 IBUs, no big deal. So this beer was created originally last year during the winter for our only seasonal release of 2021. Uh, it's a stout version of our dark lager, the 13 degree tamave. So we developed that recipe and we brewed it last year and it was a hit. I wanted to do it again. So I scaled the recipe up to the to basically a two barrel batch. And I brewed it, the brew day went great. Got 22 degree tamave in the tank, pitched a bunch of yeast, fermentation took off and uh, went went swimmingly. Everything went well. So it finished out at about six and a half degrees Play-Doh, uh, six and a half, seven degrees Play-Doh. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's appropriate for this particular style. Uh, puts it around 9% ABV. So we've got the beer in the tank lagering as we speak. And today is November 30th. Our release date's going to be on December 17th, so the week before Christmas. For the release, I want to obviously have a can release, have some polka music, have some goulash, make some kolaches, and special merch. I don't know, it's been tough getting merch, so let's see. Step one is the event. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Facebook page. We're gonna click on create an event. Go ahead and select the image of our can label for the image of the event. Put a title in there, 22 degree tamave get down. Select the date, December 17th. Select the time, 4 p.m. Go ahead and write in the description of what's gonna happen. So this lists off that we'll have cans available, draft available, goulash, and kolaches, as well as polka. Go ahead and publish the event, and then we'll click on the event to make sure that it is all good to go and the details look correct. It says it has 15 people interested because I had already posted this before I started filming and all the information looks correct here. So we're good to go. All right, <clears throat> we got the uh, 22 degree Tamave uh, event in the bag. Uh, we just posted it live. So we'll see, see what kind of engagement we get. Hopefully we can blast this out to all the people on our Instagram and Facebook and we can get quite a few people show up to eat some goulash and drink some beer and buy some cans and spread the merry. So, yep, that's down. Now let's move on to the... All right, the next step is to design a label, which I've already done in Illustrator, uh, and then send it off to the printer. So I've got 
this label right here, which you saw on the Facebook event, all of this that's gold colored uh, is going to be gold leaf. Uh, so it's going to be nice and metallic and sparkly. So it should look pretty dope on a 16 ounce can. So I sent that art file over to the printers, Blue Label, shout out to them, they do a great job. Um, they're gonna get those printed up and I think they said that they're gonna have them ready and, and shipped by tomorrow, so that's awesome. Um, we will get those labels in and then as soon as the beer is ready, probably the week of, the beer is gonna be ready, so I'll get it carved up in the bright tank, get it kegged off and then I'll start canning them and I'll show you that process as well. Now that I have, I have a beer created, beer's been brewed, uh, created artwork for the can labels. I've sent that to the printer. They're gonna be printed and shipped in the next day or so. I've created the Facebook event for this particular release. I'm probably gonna boost it in an upcoming week just so I can get some more eyes on it. I've blasted it on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I'll probably end up, or I mentioned it in the podcast. So for the people that listen to the podcast, getting it out there, I'll do several more posts uh, leading up to it. It's We've got, what's today, the 30th. So we have like 18 days before the event. Uh, it's on a Saturday, it's gonna start at 4 p.m. Yeah, then the next step is I will show the canning process, show the labeling process, I'll show the preparation for opening up for that release, I will do video of that particular day, and then I'll let you know how it went, see if we sell some beer. I'm here, Canon 22. I've already got uh, about 15 cans done, but I'm just gonna roll through filling these 16 ounce cans. The only thing that needed to change, uh, I'll turn that off for a little bit, a little bit better sound. Um, the only thing that needed to change on this October seamer, which is super cool when you're transitioning from 12 ounce cans to 16 ounce cans is this little puck. Basically it's a, an extension to the base of this the clamping mechanism. So you just pop the top one off and then the 16 ounce can fits right in. So I'm gonna, the only other difference on the process side is I am purging these cans for about a second longer than I do on the 12 ounce cans. I usually am doing about five seconds. I'll do about six seconds on these and then filling them up with the 22 degree Tamave, the stout version of the 13 degree Tamave. Capping them, seaming them, letting them dry on the towel. And then I will show you the setup of the new label applicator. And I will begin labeling the cans with these dope labels that I have. I'm super excited about them. So yeah, enjoy. This will probably just be a little time lapse, but that's all I got. <laughs> So I'm setting up the label applicator for the 16 ounce can labels. I'm adjusting the guide rails because these are taller than the 12 ounce cans. And then adhering the first few labels to the first few cans. It's a little tricky getting them straight, but then once you do, yeah, you can kind of roll through, no pun intended, the rest of the cans pretty quickly. All right, this is the day before the event. I've got the goulash cooking right here. And then to the right of it, I've got some apricot compote that I'm making for the kolaches and just getting all the food prepped up for the festivities the next day. Oh, well, it's today, 22 degree release. I am currently covered in flour, prepping kolaches and the uh, Czech dumplings for the goulash. I had made the goulash yesterday. I'm just gonna finish it up today with some spices and get it nice and tender and aroni and yeah it's gonna be a good time i've got pretty high expectations for today i put force pre-sale the 16 ounce tomato cans on the website yesterday for anybody that wasn't going to be able to attend the event today i've got about 100 of those canned up i've got a keg of the 22 degree on tap I've got another keg carving right now that should be available by the end of today. So hopefully if we blow through that keg, we can just put the new one on. Yeah, I'm just gonna make these kolaches. Think I'm gonna do probably 50 or 100 of them so that I have enough for everybody to get one or two. So I'm here, I'm prepping. It's, I don't wear watches. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Been here since 7.30. Just 
just drinking my coffee. I'm letting all the dough proof and then I'll get at it. Got to wash glasses, get a bunch of glasses set up because if I get 50 people in here, that's like most of my glasses out if they all get one beer and if they want more, then I got to probably wash, wash at the same time. So that's going to be an interesting challenge. But yeah, it's kind of the update. I, I did some, some um, video of me kneading the dough. I'll try to get some more footage of that. I'll show you all some video of the goulash warming up and obviously like a serving of each one of those in the presentation. And then we'll get some, capture some video of the uh, festivities later. What I'm doing is I've got the beer release, naturally. I have the 16 ounce cans being released. You saw footage of me canning and labeling those. I've got a polka duo. So one of my regulars, Michael Morris and his father-in-law, Alfred Bragel, are gonna be playing some polka music out here. And then I've got the goulash and kolaches. So that's kind of the rundown of what the event's gonna be. So hopefully we have this place packed out and I got hung up Christmas lights. So those look pretty nice. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna get back to it. So we'll see you in a bit. So these are the Czech dumplings. They are a steamed dough, so you put the loaves into a pan and then there's water underneath boiling and steaming to cook them. Let's rotate. Saloon. This is actually a week after the event. It's technically six days, but it's the Friday after the event. And I recorded kind of a debrief uh, download of what happened that night at the house, and I just wasn't really into it. So I figured I'd give it another shot and kind of sum it up as quickly as I can. So the event went great. It was amazing. It was packed in here, as I'm sure you can tell by the video. The music sounded great. The beers were selling great. Goulash tasted great. Everybody liked it. Kalachis turned out great. Everybody liked it. I got my ass kicked for several hours straight. I was here <laughs> at 7.30 in the morning uh, and I did not sit down. I sat down once to, to kind of take a break when I was making dough and then was standing up running around this place until eight o'clock at night. So pretty, pretty crazy day, but very, very awesome. It was the busiest sales day uh, we ever had at Tanglefoot. Sold more beer that day than obviously any other day, it was like double the busiest day I'd ever had. So huge shout out to Michael Morris and Alfred Fragel for playing some amazing music, bringing out a good crew of, of checks to drink some beer and have a good time. Uh, shout out to my girlfriend, Jody. She really, really saved me. She came and uh, scooped goulash and served kolaches while I was running around pouring beers to the masses. So all in all, an amazing event. I hope you enjoyed this video of me detailing the process of basically creating a beer, a beer release event, 
canning all the way through to, to the final event. I'm sorry I didn't get more video and audio or more video and pictures of the event. Like I said, I was running around like crazy and had no time to snag any pictures. So that's all I got. Thanks so much for checking this out and stay tuned for another video like this detailing another part of the process in the brewery. Now it's driving. Merry Christmas.